Hello and welcome to episode 23 of Paper Mario. In the last episode, we uh quickly completed chapter 4. In this episode, we're going to visit Peach again. Huzzah! Hey, Twink, those guards have stopped paying attention to us again. Let's sneak out of here and we might be able to find some new tell Mario. You think it's still safe to use that secret pass? Or do you think Bowser's figured it out by now? It's still alright, Twink. Bowser has not, hasn't noticed anything. He looks scary, but he's basically a major pony. Let's get out of here. Come on. Yeah. As much as I like Bowser, the fact that he hasn't figured this shit out, despite the fact that we did it right in front of him last episode, or last time we were doing this, <laughs> really probably strongly indicates that he's not the smartest bro bulb in the, the shed. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, come out here. So, uh, where we're supposed to go next is, uh, over here. Kind of pop over here. And I think it's this door. Nope, not this door. <laughs> Other door. Uh, don't get caught. There we go. Alright, uh, you come over here and, uh, huh, who are you? It's Big Chungus! He's back! Why, well, I'm Princess Peach, and who might you be? Oh, you're Princess Peach. Everyone calls me the gourmet guy for some reason. I guess I'd better report you to King Bowser. You aren't supposed to leave a room. But I am really hungry. Tell you what, I'll keep this a secret if you make me something really yummy. So, Princess Peach, what do you say? Will you cook me something or what? I'd love to cook for you, Mr. Gourmet Guy, but I have no ingredients and no utensils. I mean, you got a knife and a fork here, you can probably need some- Oh well. Uh, oh, that's no problem. There's a kitchen, one floor below us. It's five stars. You can go cook there. I don't know if it's five stars. I feel like a five star kitchen. Oh, never mind. Here, you- Here, you'll need this. This key will open the door that leads downstairs. Now you can get to the kitchen. You get the castle key. Huzzah! So I'll just sit here and wait for my yummy meal. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. There are plenty of guards downstairs, so be careful. Yep, he's back. Oh, I can't wait. Hard. So yeah, we gotta go downstairs. You probably saw that locked door when we passed by it. Go go bake some cakes. Pop down here. And, uh, now we can go into this area. Now, there is one thing we want to do before we go to the kitchen. The kitchen's that door over there. I think we want to go over to this room to the far right. Pop this open. And... Hello? Is anyone in here? Grab this treasure chest. How's that? Last day I bet. Alright, well, anyways, and that... Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Pop this open. <laughs> And we got a toad! Oh no, I'm caught for sure! Uh, Princess Peach, you're okay, thank the stars! You're a toad from the castle, how long have you been hiding in here? Well, since Bowser took over, I was so scared of being caught that I jumped into this closet. I'm hiding here until Mario comes and saves us all. Princess Peach, you ought to like too, it's risky out there, please don't take any chances. It has been days, probably like weeks since the beginning of this game. How has he been in there this entire time? I mean, I know the kitchen's right over there, but really, does he... I guess he's a mushroom, so I guess he can just exist in the dark, damp place, but you know. <laughs> Gotta give him so many questions. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, come down here. Avoid this guy. He's got a weird movement pattern, so it can be kind of easy to get caught by him. Pop over here. Go in here, and we've got a kitchen. Well, here's the kitchen. So, what shall we do first? Princess Peach, let's look, take look. This looks like a good cookbook. Let's use it, okay? Grab the cookbook. How's it look, Twink? Anything look really yummy? Hang on a sec. Oh, how about this? Special strawberry cake. Sounds good, heart. Let's whip the one up. 
Okay, Twink, read me the recipe. Well... Okay, please listen carefully. First, put sugar and eggs in a bowl. Go ahead, Princess Peach. When you're finished, let me know and we'll move on to the next step. So, he says sugar and eggs. I'm going to... I can't remember. I think there's some funny dialogue if you just completely... Uh, pale... Destroy this. Let's, uh... Put some cleanser in there. <laughs> Let's get some fun ingredients in there. Poison the motherfucker. And, uh... Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, salt, yes! <laughs> Destroy this! Done, yes! Okay, let's move on to the next step then. Now, mix and whip the ingredients in the bowl. All set, when I say you want to press A, I fetch again. So you're supposed to just mash A, but... Well, we're destroying this for giggles. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Anyways. Probably padding. <laughs> That's probably why. That's it. Great job. Did it go well, Prince Preach? Heck yeah. Okay, let's go to the next step then. Now, put flour and butter in the bowl. Go ahead, Prince Peach. Just let me know when you're done, and I'll move on to the recipe. <laughs> um, let's see. How about some water? Beep. And more, more cleanser. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for him. There we go. Yep. Okay, after you mix the ingredients in the bowl, pour it in the pan. Okay. Auto mix and into the pan. Up to the next step. Now, bake the batter in the oven for 30 seconds. Alright. Stick it in there. Put the cake in the air, press A, blah blah blah. blah. Can't redo this part. Click this button. And. It's done. <laughs> yep. Let's put the cake on the table to cool. I'm so wasting time on this. <laughs> okay, this is the last thing to do. We're going to decorate with cream and strawberries. Let me know when you're finished decorating. Cleanser. <laughs> Just gonna poison the crap out of this guy. Oh, nice. And eggs. <laughs> Raw eggs. There we go. Yep. It looks great. Yeah, looks great. Alright, alright. Let's do this. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I've been waiting so long. I've wasted away to nothing. Thank you. <laughs> oh, disgusting. This is awful. Where'd you learn to cook? Truck driving school? Go back to the kitchen. Follow a recipe. What greens did you use in that monstrosity? Whatever they were, I think they were seriously wrong. Okay, that's what he usually says. I guess he doesn't say anything funny if you... Anything totally different if you screw up, but whatever. Okay, Princess Peach, this time we're gonna do it right. Sure, we sure are. I know we can. This is going to be the best cake gourmet guys ever eat. Okay, Twink. Well, okay. Sugar and eggs, let's do it. Um. Sugar. Sure would have been funny if we could have poisoned the guy, though. But oh well. Done, yes. Okay, let's move on to the next step then. Now, mix and whip the ingredients in the bowl. Close off. Alright, this time we gotta we we'll got action match properly. Mash! I hope I can do this with this keyboard. I'm gonna suck if I can't. There. 
That's a great job, Diego. Well printed, I hope. Let's go on to the next step then. Hold on a sec. Sorry about that. Interrupted by people who should know better. Now, put flour and butter in this bowl. Go ahead, Princess Peach. Let me know when you're done and we'll move on to the next part of the recipe. Alright, he said uh, flour and butter, right? Don't want to mess that up. I wonder if there's any worse ingredients. I remember there seeing something worse in here somewhere, but I can't remember. Anyway. So, uh, buddy. Do, do, do. Slap that down. Yep. Okay, after you mix the ingredients in the bowl, pour it in the pan. So, we can mix it up. And pour it in. On to the next step. Now, bake the batter in the oven for 30 seconds. I should tell you, this section, when I was a wee little kid, gave me so much trouble. Just because we didn't have clocks with timers in our pockets at all times. Yeah, that's right. Back in my day, you whippersnappers and your fancy timers in your pockets. Oh, well. Anyways, let me just get my phone out. Do this the, conven the convenient way. I used to have to put, take the clock off the wall and use that. That's what I used to have to do. Then take the cake out of the oven. You can't redo this part, so be extra careful. Okay, please put it in the oven. Beep. Alright. So how you guys been? Been, uh, good. Just wait for this cake to bake. We're shaking the cake and the bacon. <laughs> Um, Twink's just kind of staring at Peach's ass. I guess he's not so much of a Twink after all. And, uh, Peach is just, uh, not doing anything. Oh, well. Five, four, three, two, one. Boop. Done? Yeah, hopefully. I remember this being pretty lenient, though. You don't have, it, you don't have to be 30 exactly, but do you know... It could be kind of tough. Okay, this is the last thing to do. We're going to decorate with cream and strawberries. Let me know when you're all finished decorating. So you do have to put the cream on first. You'll, uh, you'll fail. You'll goof it up if you put the strawberries on second. Oh, well. And strawberries. Yeah. Done. Yep. Yay. Huzzah. Alright, let's take this off. Beep. Here you go. Oh, I've been waiting so long. I've wasted away to nothing. Or maybe that was just the detergent. Who knows? <laughs> Thank you, heart. Yep. Oh! 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 Delicious! This is way too delicious! And he's off again. Last time he blasted off into space. This time he's actually used to it. <laughs> Was that because the last cake he had? Anyway. Phew, that was really good. I haven't felt this way since. Well, everywhere. Show you my secret, I'll tell you a secret. Show you my gratitude, I'll tell you a secret. Jeez. One of the star spirits is inside Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. This island is to the south. You should tell this to Mario. But you better tell him that there's also a nasty lava piranha guarding the star spirit. He'd better be careful. I really don't dislike Mario. He fed me cake after all. That's why I'm telling you this. And he waters off. Be funny if he rolled off, but whatever. Twink. Yep. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> lava Lava. Lava Lava Island. The Star Spirit is being held inside that volcano. God, Lava Lava's gonna drive me crazy saying that. Mario could really use this information, huh? 
Yes, he could. Quake, I'm sorry that I keep asking you to do this stuff. But can you go tell Mario I got the giggles now? Of course I will. I'll do it right now. I'll be back soon, Princess Peach. What's with all the shouting? Keep it quiet in here. It's Kimmy! So, it was you, Princess Peach. You've got to keep it down. You're a prisoner. As a prisoner, you need to keep... What? What are you doing out of your room, anyway? Guards, get the princess. And... We're kidnapped. No! Well, re-kidnapped. <laughs> Anyways, back at Mario's place. Phew! Ah, fresh air. After being cooped up in there for so long, I could really use some outdoor exercise. My name is Muscular. Mario, I must thank you for saving me. Now it's my turn to help you. Behold. Ultimate power. Mario's star energy goes up to four. Mario can now use Chill Out, a new star spirit power. With Chill Out, you can lower the attack power of all the enemies. Call on me whenever you find yourself in trouble. Always come quickly to aid you in battle. Now, I'm going back to my dear old Star Haven. Mario! Mario, Mario, I have news! News from the castle! <gasps> okay, no more gasping. Honorable Star Spirit. Hi! Mm, I believe you are Twink, no? You're that youngster who recently ascended from Starborn ba Valley up to Star Haven. Starborn Valley is a place we're going to be visiting later. Because, you know, the spirit of Spoiler Toad lives in all of us. What? You remember my name? Ha ha ha! Why, of course. We're like family. I, I, I'm so touched. Oh, well, careful there. That's a lawsuit if you go touching little star kids there, muscular. Ho ho ho! Don't make such a fuss, lad. I'm sure you're going to do great things. I must take my leave now. Goodbye, Twink Mario. And away he goes. Wow, I talked with Muscular, the Honorable Star Spirit. I really have such a chance, even at Star Haven. I'm sh shaking and baking. Well, actually, he just got finished baking, so you know. Oops, I'm sorry. I have some important news from the castle. According to the information, Princess Peach and I got, it seems that one of the Honorable Star Spirits is being held at Mont Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. You wouldn't believe what the princess went through to get this information. Opa will be of some help. I'm going back to rejoin Princess Peach now. Mario, as always, good luck. Princess and I will keep you looking for useful information. And away he goes. Anyways, back at Toad Town. Um, there's actually not that much we can do. Uh, the sewer doesn't actually... This is like the only chapter where the sewer doesn't have anything new for us. This, uh, I think, after Chapter 7, the sewer has nothing. So, um, I guess we just gotta do our basic look around town. Anyways, come over here. The bad shop obviously has some new stuff. It's got FP Plus and HP Plus. Huzzah, I don't have enough coins for these things. Oh, my God. Um, well, gee, that's a difficult decision. Um, ooh, I thought I'd have enough coins permanently. How about... You know what? I'll stick with the FP Plus. Grab this. And uh, I'll grab the D-Down fly on where I'm at. Yep. He's got another new badge. Hold on, let's see if we can get it to load. Come over here. And... Nope. Well, he's got another badge called the All or Nothing badge that spawns at this time. What it does is it increases your attack power by one, but makes it uh, so that you have to do the action commands or else it fails. You know. Anyways, I don't think I've been checking this after chapter, every chapter like I was supposed to be. Toe Town Newsflash. What's your Shy Guy problem? Mario Trout's and Thieves, the little larceny lovers known as Shy Guys, have finally quit terrorizing the town. <gasps> Deep breath. Mario tracked them to their Tory Box hideout, finally dispersed their ranks, and managed to rescue a prison star spirit. For those who are prey on the innocent week, we say this, Mario will prepare. I mean, I don't know if they were really preying on the innocent or weak, but whatever. 
I've come back. I'm sure you missed me. I've got a full pl plan for coin. See you on the road. Can't see Koopa. That is foreshadowing for later. <laughs> Something really nasty after this chapter. But uh, we'll deal with that uh, when it happens. Anyways, post office. Oh, yes, Mario. Hello, yes. Seems like you have received some mail. Who do we got? Cooper. From Cooper. Here you go. Dear Cooper. How oh, goes the adventure? I can't believe you're hanging with Mario. I'm so jealous. Cooper Village is the same. Colorado's wife is patiently away in Colorado's winter. You're in Colorado. You guys have so much excitement in your lives. You're so lucky. Anyway, good luck, buddy. Cooper or Cooper Village. If you remember from our little letter side quest, Cooper's the guy in front of the town. I don't know why I brought that up. Learn to pair carry from Frost T. Who's uh, this Frost T person? Well, you'll see. Here you go. Dear Pear Carry, thank you for always delivering my mail despite snow and ice. Because I live in this cold valley so far from my family, the letters I receive are my greatest pilot here in life. Kind words from my wife and daughter give me the strength to continue my work. My heart leaps with joy every time I hear the sound of your wings. May you never molt your fan, Frosty. That's a character we're actually going to be meeting later. <laughs> he, he's actually a character with plot importance. <laughs> Anyways, uh, pop over here because we got a delivery we didn't make last episode that we could have, but I didn't because I'm lazy. Pop in here. Talk to this guy. Curses Mario. I sure got stole my next name. Please get back. I'm losing IQ points. Well, here, I have this mystery note. You'd like me to translate this note for you? Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, it seems to be written in the language of the Shy Guys. The Shy Guys have their own language. Well, this would be an easy task if I still had my dictionary, but the Shy Guy stole it. I'll tell you what, I'll take care of the note for now. To think of my lovely dictionary in that Shy Guy's hands. Please get back for me. There you go. My dictionary, oh, wonderful words. What do you think, Mario? You get a star piece for this. Hit hey, yellow, green, red, and then blue. Hmm, that's what the Shy Guy's note says. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to figure out that puzzle, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, how many, uh... Star pieces do I have? It's probably quite a bit. 25. All right, let's go buy some stuff. Oh no! Oh, there we go. <laughs> the game still works. I just can't see it when the old uh, the old uh, graphical glitches happen. Anyways, let's go pop over and get our star pieces down. Gonna do 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 do. Gonna go visit Star Piece Lord to get our Star pieces done. Do do do. Star pieces. Gonna get some sweet badges. Sweet badges. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Every time. I had one time off screen where the graphical glitch didn't return, so and I had to reset. So you know that th there is a real risk of that Elvic th going off and not coming back. Anyways, what did we buy this time? Um. Well, I am having a little bit of money troubles, and there's a character later on that's going to need a lot of money here soon, but... Mm. Oh! Uh, Pretty Lucky is a good badger. I'm actually going to buy that right now, so I don't forget. And... I'll buy the money money. I may I may need it here in the sooner. That's like 7 BP. That's a lot. So, you know... Maybe don't use it yet. Or maybe do. Hold on. Let me check my badges. I don't really need that extra power plus. I feel like that's unnecessarily overpowered. So, uh, yeah. Extra power plus. Gone. Extra, um, FP plus. Sure. So that way I can increase some money, money. Get more of that F, that money. Because, you know, if you're going to show everything... So pretty lucky, I guess I didn't explain it. This song uh, makes it so uh, occasionally you dodge attacks. It's uh, very useful for a very particular thing later on. But until then, let's equip these two deep focuses. Because that can be very useful later on. Uh, the next area we're going to has a lot of spiky enemies. So I'm actually going to equip some hammer abilities while I'm here. Um, like Quake Hammer. And 
Um, and spin smash. No. DJ. You know what? Okay, fine. Power balance. No, power smash. And just sleep stop. You know, a lot of enemies have a lot of attack power, so shrink stop. No sleeps about. <laughs> Why decrease attack power when you can just stop them from attacking? Anyways. <laughs> I, I don't feel too bad taking off that FP plus badge, because from here on out, I'm just going to be increasing my HP and FP, so... It'll, it'll get to you <laughs> without needing it. Anyway, pop this over. And, uh, for the last thing we're going to do is we're going to get our party members set up with Luigi and Lee. So, uh, let's save and get on to this. Uh-huh, pop over here. We have a lot we have to do, and then we also have to introduce a bow to Luigi, which we didn't do. So, there's that. Anyways. Talk to the master. If we can. Blah, 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 try it. Blah, 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 it's Lee. I will defeat him. Blah, blah, blah. I bet you've never seen a move like this before. Uh, well, an alternate timeline I have. Oh, well. Switch over to Gumbario. Get that tattle. For what? This is Lee disguised as Watt. His max HP is 20, so you should be serious even though he looks as adorable as Watt. Lee has disguised himself as Watt perfectly, so his attack player is the same as Watt's usual attack power. Remember, don't stop at him. You'll get a massive electric charge if you do. So yeah, he's both... Flying and electrically charged, so you know. Here's the thing though. The Zap Tap badge uh, has the added effect of making you immune to electrical damage if you're jumping on people. So yeah, the Zap Tap badge actually has a hidden feature to it that uh well let's face it, I think this is like the only time it's useful. <laughs> there aren't really any other electrical enemies in this entire game. I think, uh, there's the blooper who can electrify himself. I think one of the bosses later on can electrify themselves. That's about it. <laughs> so, you know. It's not that useful. But it's nice to know that the Zap Tap does that thing. Anyway, we kill Lee. Let's go, uh, re meet up with Luigi. Okay, graphical glitch. Oh no! Oh, there we go. It's back. <laughs> Anyways. Well, we haven't shown him bow yet, so uh, let's do that. Go meet his mortal enemy, a ghost. Probably terrified the shit out of him. Or it doesn't happen. Oh shit. No! No! Because I talked to him in, during the Shy Guy episode. Oh, there he is reading our mail. No! All this hard work wasted. God damn it. I've, uh, I've screwed this over. I was supposed to undo that. I was supposed to save him for the Shy Guy. I knew this. I knew this and I forgot to do it. No! 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 Oh, well. Hi Mario, are you doing okay? Don't worry, bro. I watch. I'll watch your house until you get back. What's that, Mario? You need something? Fine. <laughs> what? Mr. Koopa Koo wants to get my autograph. Me? He wants me to decide. Well, you know what? This does mean I can actually do the side quest now. Here you are, Mario. Blah blah blah. Save it. The letter from Mario. Yeah. Uh. Which one of these haven't we done yet? We haven't done good barrios. Good Mario, are you and good Mario doing okay? I'm fine. Oh, this is good Mario, by the way. You have an exciting adventure. Is good Mario being a hero or is he just goofing off? You know, I sometimes go shopping in Toe Town with Mom. Maybe we'll see you there, blah, blah, blah. Beat up Bowser. Hey, big guy, how you doing? I'm off of the bad shop here. Thanks for a bunch of shop at my place. You're a cool accomplice. Show sure my gratitude. We'll be waiting for you with all my stock 0% off credit. Rob. So upset. I was working hard. I was gonna show all the little changes in dialogue. 
And then I failed. I goofed it up. No. This is Luigi Dieway 3. We got two more. Shy guy appeared at my house the other day. I found it asleep in my bed. Can you imagine it? Ran after him, but he was way too fast for me. I hear that a lot of Shy Guys also appeared in Toad Town. Supposedly they came from Shy Guys Toy Box. It must be somewhere in town. Toy Box, I don't mind seeing that. Maybe they have a Nintendo 64. Little does he know he's inside of one. Well, actually, he's inside of an emulator, so... Well, you know. Purgatory. The whole Goomba family visited me today. They said that Goombario was in care the care of my brother. Then they gave me a souvenir. It was a Goomba, a special treat from Goomba Village. Looks so yummy, I ate it without telling my brother. My FP increased by 3. You think he'll notice? Uh, yeah. I, I didn't want to mention it, but he is looking at a little FP plus 3, you know? Anyways, horrible failures from this Let's Play aside. I guess we'll have to do this next episode. And in the next episode, we'll start Chapter 5. There's not really much more to do. Uh, well, I guess I could do that Koopa Koop thing, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait. Until I'm doing a bunch more side quests. So, um, until then, bye.